Now here we are. Now if you remember from last episode, we talked about the quadratic formula. Basically this bunch of myths. x equals minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac equals 2a, 2a, 2a. But in this part of uh, review 18, I'm going to tell you the proof of the quadratic formula and how it works and why it exists. Now, as you might know from the last episode, there are actually more, to, <coughs> more ways in the quadratic formula to actually solve for a quadratic. The more simpler and the easiest way to actually solve a quadratic will be using the factorizing method, where you turn this <coughs> into a factorized form of it, which I use the uh, values of x plus alpha times x plus beta equals zero. And then from there on, you're going to graph it, and whatever value x is, like you'll get an answer like x is equal to minus alpha or minus beta, then that minus alpha and the minus beta are actually the x-intercepts on the quadratic. Because you remember that a quadratic is a parabola when you draw it on the graph. So this would be like minus alpha, this would be like minus beta, and in the middle, smack middle right there, this is the line or axis of symmetry of this parabola, which will be these two combined divided by two. In this case, I'm going to simplify this a bit, minus alpha plus beta, and then that divided by two. Keep in mind that the alpha and the beta are in brackets, and the minus is outside the brackets. You can also write like minus alpha, minus beta, divided by two, but this is easier. Now, when things get a little, let's just say messy, when we try to use the factorizing method, then we'll just have to go ahead and use the second best method. Also, it's harder, it's also one of the easier ways too. Trust me, there are harder ones. And we call that the quadratic formula. And I'm going to show you how you can get from this base polynomial quadratic uh, standard form equation to this really complicatedly looking quadratic formula. Also, trust me, it's not as complicated when you look at it a second time. Well, let's start with black, because that's the only one I haven't used properly. Our first step here, our first step is to turn the constant of x squared, which in this case is a, into 1. Oh yeah, also I should mention that a does not equal 0, so it has to be 1 or minus 1 or something like that. Then after that, the second step is to change whatever equation we have on there into a perfect square. Like, uh, let's say like x plus k squared equals some sort of number. So from there on, we can like, we can like, okay, let me just put some space between there. We can like put in a square root, which will inevitably delete this and then subtract that little k number so that we can get that. And so we'll isolate the x. There we go. So that's our plan. Turn a into 1, and then from there, make a perfect square and isolate x with square roots. How nice. Now first, divide everything by a, because right now, that's the only way <coughs> to turn the x squared's constant into 1. So there we have, so we get x squared plus b divided by a times x. There's a reason why I'm not writing bx divided by a. Remember that. Plus c divided by a, which equals 0. Because 0 divided by a is the same as 0. Now that we're here, let's try to turn this into a perfect square. But wait a second, even if we're just trying to turn this into a perfect square, There's some little part missing over there, so we'll just have to add it in. This is the method we call completing the square. What's YouTube for that? That's what YouTube videos are for. So x squared plus b divided by ax. We're going to have to add something in between there to, com to complete the square. In this case, it will be... I'm going to use a different color. In this case, it will be this constant divided by 2, or times a half, and then that number squared. So from then on, we'll get this number. x squared plus b divided by ax 
plus b divided by 2a squared. And I'll just move this to the other side because it's not even going to be part of the square. Equals uh, minus c over a. So there's a space there, and I'm deliberately putting that. But wait, we can't just put one side on. Oh wait, let's absolutely go on one side and not do the other side. I think it's equal. We have to do. We have to add this number to this side too. Here we go. Let me just move the minus there. And now our equation looks like this. Now, you might not actually believe me, but go try this out yourself. All of this is, actual, is actually the same thing as this. Which might sound crazy, but if you try it out, it works. <coughs> And now we're just going to expand this part of the equation. So we'll end up that turning into a b squared divided by 4a squared minus. Now, all I have to do is minus 4a on the bottom and top to be able to add those two, or in this case, subtract those two fractions together. So I'll just multiply 4a here and 4a on the numerator. And we'll get minus 4ac divided by 4a squared. We're going to go back to blue. Now we're going to put a square roots on both sides so we can just take out this annoying little square. Also, square roots are also annoying too. But first, let's combine these two. Wait, okay, let's just put a space between them. And now that we put in a square root, it can either be plus or minus, because a minus times minus is a positive, and a positive times positive is a positive. Which is why our, why our equation has two possible answers. <coughs> we can also simplify this further, because for a squared, the square root of that is actually pretty easy. It's 2a. So we can just change this to with the base as 2a, and then plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac. Now, I like to remember this part. If, you, if you're Korean, then you'll get me. You know, like in Korean, there's this bad word. It's like, ash, ash. Well, ac and ash sounds the same thing. So, I remember, like, b squared minus 4 ash. So, yeah. Divide by 2 a. There we go. And look here, that's a denominator two way, and this two way, they're the same. So, as a big little grand finale, we move this number to here. Now, some people call this the float and ping method, but I don't really like the name. Now, if you move it there, we'll get the final. I love that sound. Equation. Let me like try this one more time with a ruler. Bottom is 2a. Top, we have the minus b that we did from this side, because it's not in the square root. And then plus and minus the square root of b squared. And minus four. H. And there we have it, the quadratic equation. Just as beautiful as it was before. Ta-da! And that is the proof of the quadratic formula. And why it works on the standard form of the quadratic, of the equation. And so there you have it folks, and now it's test time. First of all, I'll say bye.
Bye bye. With Professor Claude singing the quadratic formula song. Dun dun dun. The quadratic formula is x equals minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus four ac minus four ac. Divided by 2a, 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 a, 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 a. Bye bye.